I think I screwed it up, but whatever. I'm doing my thoughts on Mockingjay Part 1 because the film is coming out this weekend, and some theaters are even showing early screenings of it, so I'm going to do a My Thoughts Going Into video now, before, even though the reviews are probably out in some cases. So, quick, real quick, let me just give you my thoughts on the films and books. I've read all the books. Um, I, I enjoyed the first one. I really liked the second one. And I liked the third one, although, I don't know, the ending, not too big on the conclusion. You know, more or less the way everyone feels. And in regards to the films, I liked the first one. I really enjoyed the second one. And if you want more in-depth on how I feel about it, just go on all the link to my written reviews of the first two films, as well as links to my reviews of the, the playlist where I reviewed the books, as well as my review of the first Hunger Games. So, going into Mockingjay Part 1, I have really mixed feelings about it, because... I went and they did a really nice job with Catching Fire. And Hunger Games, while not as good, I thought it was still well done. But what worries me is that Mockingjay is the fact that they're making it two parts. Now, it could work. I don't think it'll be as bad as what has happened to Harry Potter. Not Harry Potter. The Hobbit. But still, it's like, Mockingjay doesn't need to be two movies. There's an. It's not too dense where... You need to split into two movies, otherwise it's going to be rushed. Like, you could do it in one movie. I mean, so I'm worried that splitting into two movies, which obviously it's a financial decision, not a story decision, but I'm worried splitting into two movies is going to hurt it. Like, it's going to drag a bit. Like, Because while I really enjoyed Catching Fire, it did sort of drag a bit, and even then they were putting everything in the book there. So I'm worried the film is going to feel really slow just because it's two movies. They're adding in a lot of scenes. And the thing is, if you're adapting something from a book, scene for scene, well, I am annoyed that you have to cut stuff out. I get it. It's a film. You only have two hours. You need to keep the plot moving. You can't let it drag too long. I'm worried that doing if they do this and they just throw everything from the book in there, it's going to drag. And then there's also the question of how do you split this into two movies? I mean... I saw the trailer, and they're covering quite a bit of the book. Like, like they're basically covering everything up to when they storm the Capitol. Sorry if I spoiled it for those who haven't read it. It's like, what's going to be left for that second movie? Like, are we going to... Is the second movie going to be thin, or is this one going to be thin plot-wise? Like, I'm worried I'm going to feel like The Hobbit, where... I feel like not much happened. Like, this felt like one chunk of a... Like, it won't feel complete. It'll feel like one chunk of a story, but it won't feel complete. Like, when Harry Potter was split into two films, it felt complete. Whereas, I feel like the, I'm worried this film won't. Like, it'll feel too long. It'll feel like... Like, I'm wor worried it's going to feel a little long, drawn out. It's either going to be really long or drawn out, or they'll blow through so much of Mockingjay the, Jay, that I'll be like, what are you going to do for the next movie? Now, I don't think I'll hate it. I mean, I do enjoy the first half of Mockingjay. It's just I'm worried that drawing it out will hurt it. And it doesn't help that Mockingjay is everyone's... is considered the weakest of the trilogy, and splitting into two movies m might just make weaken it even more than it already is. Like, I'm not saying it's bad, I'm just... But basically what I'm saying is I don't think they should... It needs to be two movies. Now, I haven't seen the film yet. M who knows? Maybe this is actually a good decision. But I'm just worried. Like, given how the franchise has been doing well adapting these books into films, and they've been generally catching on, like, I'm really worried this is going to be, like, the prequel franchise killer, like, it's gonna be, like, Spider-Man 3 or X-Men 3, like, where the franchise was doing really well, and then that third film came around and just ruined everything. I don't want it to be that. 
Yeah, I don't think it'll be awful. I mean, it's not like The Hobbit where it's like they're taking where the Hobbit movies are like just taking a couple chapters and like padding them out into like three hour movies. It's only a two hour film. It's not like The Hobbit where they're literally just taking like a couple chapters and like making a two and a half hour movie out of it. Like, there's a decent amount of material. It's just I'm worried that it will drag a bit. And I'm not gonna talk. So yeah, we'll just wait and see. Like, I I I think it'll turn out okay. I just little skeptical on the whole two movie decision. So financially though, it's gonna do really well. I mean, this film, lot this film is a huge fan base. It's growing. I think the sequel made even more money than the first one. Let me just check on Box Office Mojo. Like, it should do fine, and especially considering it's getting, it's riding off this, yeah, it definitely made more money. And considering it's riding off the success of Catching Fire, I think it'll do, definitely do really well. Again, like, the only thing that might hurt it is, you know, maybe word of mouth, but, again, if it... Regardless of how it does, everyone's going to turn out for the final film, so it doesn't matter. Um, will I go see this film? I'm prob I probably am. I mean, I... In fact, I might even be seeing it Thursday night. Like, it's at the theater near me. They're showing an advanced screening of it, which means that... Basically, they're showing the movie, like, two hours before its actual premiere, so I probably will be going to that. Like, I figure, if I'm going to see Hunk, like, it's available and all. I am not that busy of schoolwork this week, thankfully. And also, I figure, you know what, if I'm going to see Mockingjay, a film I'm skeptical about, I want to go see it with a bunch of the craziest diehard Hunger Games fans possible. We're going to be like, yeah, Katniss, and... And I've also I've never seen a Hunger Games film in theaters. Like, I wish I had seen Catching Fire in theaters, because it was so awesome. Something I would have been right there with the fanboys going, Woo, Candace! But yeah, I'm probably going to see it in theaters. So, which means that, like, depending on when I get back from the theater, which, again, it's a 10 a.m. screening, so I'm probably going to be back a little after midnight. So, probably late Friday. So, probably, like, right around a little past, sometime after midnight on Friday you'll get my review of Mockingjay Part 1, although it'll probably be very messy and unfocused, because normally what I do is I write an outline, I write my written review, but because it's late, I'm probably going to want to go to bed, because I'll be tired bed, so you'll, it'll probably be rambly. And... But yeah, I mean, I'll... But I won't be too tired. I mean, it's not like a midnight screening, and... Again, assuming nothing comes up, and I'm at, but, but yeah, I mean, I'm more optimistic about Mockingjay than I am about The Hobbit, but we'll wait and see. So, are you looking forward to Mockingjay Part 1, or are you like, eh, will this be the third one that ruins the franchise? Comment below and let me know, and as always, like, dislike, comment, and subscribe. This is jstar 60 and, oh yeah, I'm seeing Whiplash tonight, so it, I'm going to have my review up of that later. So, until then, this is JSTARS260, signing out.